to investigate the effect of subcooling, let us consider here a pH diagram. A pH diagram of simple VCRS in the state 1 is dry and saturated and state 3 is saturated liquid. Cycle is working anticlockwise. If there is a subcooling, this point will shift to the left hand side. So this one is 3 dash and this one is 4 dash. So 1, 2, 3 dash, 4 dash is subcooling cycle. Is there any change in the compressor side or the compressor work remain constant? Compressor work is H2 minus H1 remain constant. Re is H1 minus H4 and Re for subcooling is H1 minus H4 dash. So this quantity is it increase in Re? So Re increases. If Re increases, then Rc is given by m dot into Re. If Re increases, then m dot will decrease. So mass flow rate will decrease. If mass flow rate will decrease, will the volumetric flow rate will also decrease. Wc remain constant and Re is increasing because of subcooling. So COP which is defined as Re divided by W. Now Re is increasing so it means that COP is also increasing. So we can conclude that M dot decreases, COP increases, work no change and volumetric flow rate is also decreasing. This one is simple VCRS. This one is evaporator, this one is condenser, expansion wall and compressor. For the effect of subcooling, you have to add. So when you place the subcooler, which is after the condenser, this one is evaporator. At the end of the evaporator, we always desire a saturated state. Now this one is the high temperature stream and this one is cold temperature stream. So this cold temperature stream will always lower down the high temperature stream. So you can achieve the undercooling as well as you are doing some heating to this vapor. It means that it is guaranteed that this one is superheated. So uh, subcooling can be achieved by installing additional component called as subcooler. Subcooler is nothing but the extension of evaporator and one more heat exchanger between these two parts. From the lower side we are passing the low temperature refrigerant or upper side we are passing the high temperature refrigerant. Because of this one, this one is low temperature, this one is high temperature, it is subcooled. And since the heat is rejected from this to this, so this is slightly superheated. 1, 2, 3, 4 is simple VCRS. This time we will discuss the effect of superheating. So because of superheating, the point 1 will shift to the right side. Due to this, the graph will go to the right side again. Now the is more flatter here, so H2 dash minus H1 is more as compared to H2 minus H1. So due to superheating, the work required to compressor will increase. The refitting effect is H1 minus H4, which is same as for the next cycle also. That is 1, 2 dash, 3, 1 dash, 2 dash, 3, 4 is superheating cycle. H1 minus H4 and with superheat your RE is H1 dash minus 4 dash. So definitely RE will also increase. RE increases so same for same RC as compared to simple VCRS mass flow rate will decrease. COP will improve slightly, slightly depends in what percentage RE increases and in what percentage compressor increases. But in fact, RE percentage increase is more always as compared to compressor work, so COP in group. So the silent points are compressor work affected and will increase, RE will also increase, M dot will decrease and COP improves. Then the effect of subcooling plus superheating, we will gain both the advantages. So that is the best cycle, that is a subcooling plus superheating. 
condenser pressure, let consider first a simple VCRS and if the condenser pressure will increase, naturally this value will go to this side. So it will come to this side again. Therefore, 4 dash will to left to the left side. So because of condenser increase in pressure, sir work will increase. Desirable, not desirable? Not desirable. RE decreases. Initial RE is H1 minus H4. Now RE is H1 minus H4 dash. So RE decreases. Again undesirable. RE decreases, so mass flow rate increases. And what happened to COP? COP will decrease. So compressor work increases. RE decreases. COP decreases. And secondly, is the compressor discharge temperature also increases? That is also not desirable. T2 dash is more than T2. That is not desirable. From this we can say that if the condenser pressure will increase, uh, sorry, decrease, is the compressor work will decrease? Is the RE will increase? If you see the same figure, and will the COP will increase or decrease? Increase. So it means that the condenser pressure <coughs> should be as low as possible. We should avoid the high pressure, high uh, condenser pressure. Here one, uh, right, again a simple VCR cycle, one, two, three, four and we want to discuss the effect of evaporator pressure. To understand the evaporator pressure will decrease this quantity. So the point 1 will come to this side. Then 1 to 2 is the isentropic compression. So 2 to 3 is a condenser process and from 3 to 4. So this one is 4 dash. So H1, H2 minus H1 H2 minus H1 and H2 dash minus H1 dash. So work required to drive the compressor will increase. Initial RE is H1 minus H4 which is slightly more by this quantity as compared to 1 dash minus 4 dash. So RE will decrease. If RE will decrease for same RC, M dot will increase. RE decreases at W increases so COP will decrease so evaporator pressure should be as high as possible condenser pressure should be as low as possible effects are WC increases by decreasing the condenser pressure RE decreases not desirable M dot increases and COP is decreases so, which is the best cycle? Best cycle is subcooling plus superheating having low difference between the condenser and evaporator pressure. If the difference between the condenser and evaporator pressure is evaporator pressure is less, we have a superheating and we have a subcooling. That is the best cycle for VCRS.